Good morning. My name is Ralph Nappi. I'm president of GSC and NPES. As you know, the Graphic Arts Show Company is the sponsor of this uh, event this year. Um, I'm very happy to uh, have you here, and I want to thank you for being here because I have to tell you, this conference and program seems to be bucking a, a trend, at least for uh, some of the recent conferences and programs. We actually have more people registered for this executive outlook than we did last year. But I also have to uh, acknowledge the fact that we wouldn't be here either uh, if not for three of our sponsors, which we will hear from shortly in uh, Xerox, Prestec, and, and uh, EFI. So we're very pleased that they would join us and help us do this whole thing. On behalf of Xerox, thank you very much for allowing us uh, to be here as a sponsor. Obviously, we uh, feel very, very strongly about the business of print and its future and where it's going. It's an exciting opportunity. At Xerox, we too are going to be not just showing some technology in our, our booth, uh, software, but also a lot of education, business development, development and marketing opportunities. Welcome to the show. We look forward to having a chance to talk to you here at Graph Expo. Good morning. I'm Kathy McHugh. I just want to thank you all for getting up so early on a Saturday morning and joining us here. And I'm sure you will find this to be a very worthwhile event for those of you who participated in the past. And I just would like to invite you to come visit us at our booth. This is, for Prestec, a very, very exciting event, Graph Expo 2010. We are debuting our Prestec 75DI Digital Offset Press, which is a six-page format digital offset press. Please come by and see us. It's booth number 2600. Thank you. Every year when we talk at EFI about what are we doing this year at Graph Expo, we think about the Executive Outlook Conference and in particular Bill's must see them. So we decided we must support them. And uh, we all, I believe, need to learn from each other, must learn from each other, and hope that you will take the time to have a look at the things that you believe you must see, because we all must invest. We all must keep print alive and in continue to innovate in print. So it's all good that we saw today that we decided we must be here. And I think I must stop now because we want to move on with the conference. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Executive Outlook is uh, we bring together the best speakers and consultants in the industry and tackle today's problems with the effort to make the audience go home and do something as a result of being here that they wouldn't have done otherwise. I've been around too long. I don't get surprised very often. But wow, given the economy, given all the circumstances, to have this room full is really great. And now uh, it's really time uh, to get on and to look at the challenge of change in what we have dubbed uh, as the, uh, the new era of, of print. And there are challenges, and more importantly, there are opportunities. And we hope that throughout uh, the meeting today, you will be looking for and able to identify uh, opportunities that will enable you to prosper in this new era uh, of print. We're going to be talking about the economy and the economy's impact on print. And in particular, we're going to be talking about creating our own recovery. Because that's what we have to do, ladies and gentlemen. Participation in the recovery ahead will not be about growing with the market. It will not be about waiting for clients to rediscover the power of print, for competitors to fail, or for the economy to make everything right. In fact, it will not be about waiting for anything at all. Instead, it will be about understanding what's happening in our industry and aggressively getting in front of it, and it will be about starting now, when meaningful recovery is still a ways off and pretty much everyone else is waiting for something to make it right. It's not about print. It's about what we do with content and communications. That's what it's all about. Print is a viable element as part of this total package. So what we're going to talk about today is where the opportunity lies and the lies in a cross-media environment. My iPad, my friends, my iPad is a game changer. The Kindle was the beginning, the Nook, the e-reader, the iPad is the game changer. It will change everything we do in our business. 
it will be something that we all have to look at and be prepared because what people all want is what? They want, a, they want information. We've got to look at what the technology is. We've got to be aware that the technology is changing and it's all about delivering relevant content. You know, it's clear from this show, and this is no news to anybody in this audience, that digital is mainstream. And I'll talk a little bit about the changes that have led to that. I want to give you an overview of the production digital uh, print landscape. Uh, it's, it's impossible, as I said, to talk about every single vendor and every single product because it's just so broad. But I'll give you what I feel is a good level highlight. So much excitement about Inkjet. We'll talk about some of the developments and why this show is so particularly important for the high-speed production color inkjet uh, uh, revolution, let's say. Well, we're going to be talking about the advances in lithography. And we need to keep in mind that the lithographic process is the process that all others benchmark against. When it comes to digital printers versus a, a printing press, the digital printers blow when it comes to variable, you got it. Uh, when it comes to short run, you've got it. Make ready times, you've got it. And that's where the fit is absolutely tremendous. But keep in mind, lithography is not standing still. For years, I've been preaching about uh, the fact is you've got to get involved, you've got to have an MIS system that works. You've got to pay attention, get your management engaged in it. You know, we thought we'd bring it to life for you today. Instead of preaching it, we'll live it. Printers really need to be committed to their IT infrastructure to actually make the pieces all fit together and work. And we, we still see many, many plants. They put an MIS system in, and they, they get parts of it running here and there and everywhere, but they don't have a fully integrated workflow that really drives the process from, from start to finish. And both of these gentlemen have managed to do that in their operations. Uh, machines and people only have so much bandwidth and you need to figure out to, how to maximize that and uh, to, you know, the MIS system is a great tool that allows you to do that. We have cut two days off of our jobs just getting them started to getting them to pre-press since we've uh, implemented this entire suite and two days are important. Whether it's electronics, whether it's multimedia, whether it's gold foil, hand illuminated Bible pages, it's always been about the same thing, and that is to engage the customer. For the customers that we have that buy marketing materials or other types of collateral, if they're trying to get their message across, there's nothing better for them than to be interactive, because that really pulls the customer in, makes them, makes them part of, of whatever the message is that you're trying to depart. How many of you are printers or do some sort of printing, print production? Okay, most of you. Keep your hands up if you're a commodity printer. Okay, put your hands up if you're a quality printer. The way our industry has, has performed and where we're at, we can't afford to make this choice. You can't be one or the other because if you're going to survive long term in this industry, I am absolutely a believer that you have to be both. Your Hopefully audience. this will be a, a good combination to a very action-packed, information overloaded day. Um, by trying to mix in what might be considered some uh, management and practical experience. Uh, what's the most important equipment or technology purchase you've made recently, and what has it done for your company? Biggest technology purchase, I guess, that's driven the business the most was the HP Indigo 4500, which is a specially designed press for roll label converting. Um, our business has grown tremendously, and we really think that having the digital offering sets you apart from your typical uh, old line printer and allows you to um, differentiate yourself to your customers. The one big piece of new technology we bought, we've got an iGen 4 with the, with the uh, packaging solution on it. Uh, we, we ended up going in with a very negative outlook, but we were going to try it because Xerox was giving us full support. 
And we have found markets, especially with the variable data and packaging, that people just never considered before because the cost was so prohibitive. We now want to turn our attention to the specific products uh, that are part of the Museums program. We look at the Museums, the things that are really compelling, that if you're here at the show and you don't go see them, then somebody might say, why were you here? We have a program called Positively Print Award Program, and the thrust of that program is to identify companies that are unselfishly saying, this is the value of print. You can applaud these people, and then courtesy of EFI, you can toast them, you can eat, you can drink, and you can network. Thank you very much.